Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. I thought I would do a market update. This is the QQQs. Uh, the market is very bullish. The market is going to run up into the end of the year with a bullish trend and a nice rally into the end of this calendar year 2013. This call that I made back here last week to buy the market over the one minute high was, an, it was a great call. And I called the market long today. The market ran up over here and could have run up for a couple more days after this breakout. Instead, it had a very nice concentrated pull into support one, two, three days down, and then had the buy set up here right over the number today and went past the target. The first target was 83.50. It actually came up here and closed bullishly at 83.61. Really nice move here for the market. So over this area is 84.10, and that is something that we could actually break over tomorrow. I have to see where we gap tomorrow. We either gap up and can just go, or we have a neutral open, and then we just carry through and rally up nicely. I don't think we gap down at all tomorrow. I believe this is going to hold. We could have even come in here and retested this area here before we held bullishly. But, you know, we didn't even do it. I mean, this is just strong, and it's ready to break out higher. So bullish day in the market tomorrow for sure. Just not sure how we act out of the open until I see it. The trend of the market this year has been bullish all year. And guess how it started? It started with a bullish gap on January 2nd. That was the start of the calendar year of the market. It is so important to understand gaps, how to read gaps, how to know which gaps are good gaps, whether they're bullish or bearish how to know how to take positions in gaps, or how to know just to read the trend in a chart based on the gaps. The one thing that's interesting is a lot of people do not understand gaps. First of all, they don't understand them or have a misconception about reading them, meaning they read them incorrectly, or two, uh, people don't give them enough weight. And actually, gaps are very weighty in charts. One of the reasons I am so skilled at reading price is because I know how to read gaps well. That has enabled me to become a very successful trader and to be able to read charts and get good at technical analysis readings and to predict things like way before they happen, to see them happen, like to see into the future and see they're going to happen because I know how to read gaps. So looking here at a bigger time frame here in the market, let's pull back here where we're going next. What we did the other day here was when we ran up to 84.10, all we did was run up to, let me find it. There's this area back in here. November of 2000, November 2000, hold on, I ran up to, I found it before, here, this was November of 2000, and in the last week we ran up to this same number, this is where we ran up to and hit this area of this resistance, so we're going to break over this. So after this, the next area is actually up here around 88. If we can get over 88, which, I mean, that's a $4 move. I don't, I don't know if we'll do that in the next four to four to five weeks or before the end of the year, but we certainly could do it into January. Once we get over 88, the sky's the limit. The market's really going to blow. Now, I think we might have some wiggles and jiggles once we get up to this 88 and retest it and come in and possibly have a pull-in in the market that could be a, a something that looks like a bearish pull-in but because it could pull in a lot. But then I think it's still going to turn around and rally and get over this area, and then it's really going to go, unless we just hit over this area like rather quickly. I mean, who knows? Anything's possible. The one thing that's very important to understand about trends is they, they're going to carry through until, they're, until they don't. I mean, that's the best way I can explain it. There's really nothing stopping this rally here in the market. The market has shrugged off all bad news that it's had and anything that's come upon its way. And uh, it's been bullish all year. And it's so interesting, if you look at the bigger picture here, the market, you see that we didn't have some uh, vertical leap. Everyone was saying, oh, we're, we're, we're too extended, we're too extended. You see here that we're not too extended. 
In fact, you see this nice bullish gap here with the rally and the bullish gap here that held that even this that appears extended for the short term time frame wasn't and has held and is going to hold and is holding. See this one back here holding? Look at this. It's the same kind of look here. This look here and this look here is the exact same kind of look. You know? So you got to know how to read gaps to read that like this bearish gap here wasn't real or going to follow through. To read that these bullish gaps are going to hold. I mean, understanding charts is so important whether you're a day trader, a swing trader, core trader. I think anyone that participates in the market should understand gaps if they want to be aware of their own investments or make decisions about their own investments and specifically about their trading. It's just, it's very interesting that there's not that much out there about gaps. And what is out there that people are teaching about gaps is low quality or just flat out wrong. So I'm really proud of myself for figuring this stuff out on my own here in the market, how to read these gaps right, because I hands down have it. And it's the reason that I'm able to see things happen so far into the future before they do. And I've gotten so good at reading price. So if you're interested in learning how to trade gaps or read gaps correctly through technical analysis, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I am doing one more Golden Gap class yet this year, the last class of 2013. It's December 14th and 15th. And if you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Uh, this is a nice bullish market for the year of 2013. For all foreseeable intents and purposes, the next number is 88 for the QQQs to hit on through. And whether we do that right away or have a steep pulling, we'll have to see. The market is showing no signs of bearishness and absolutely no signs of stopping. And if we get over 88, or when we do, if we do it, we'll have to see how we act at that point. There's The market's going to rally big time. And I don't know if we're going to get over 88. We didn't do it yet. And I think we could have a steep pull in when we hit that number. Where or when that's going to happen, we'll have to wait and see. For now, nice bullish market that should carry us through into the end of the year. And, and since we it's a $4 move here, I don't know if the market's going to be able to do it before the end of the year, but it could. It certainly could. It has enough time to do it if the momentum wants to come in. Every time somebody realizes that the market isn't going down, people will then make a decision, oh, let's buy, oh, let's buy more, or maybe we'll buy here. And this is why then people get in later, later, and later, later, later. And people are like, oh, crap, I should have gotten in there, I should have gotten there, I should have gotten in here. And then they finally say, forget it, let's just get in, because they don't want to miss any more of the move, but they've already missed half the move anyways. Do you see how this is what makes extended rallies and then things keep going and going and going and going and going? It's the same thing when things are in a downtrend. Uh, you think, well, they can't go anymore. Oh, really? They can't? Yes, they can. Yes, they can. <laughs> they absolutely can. Things can keep going down. They can go to zero if they want to, just like things can keep going up and they can be worth as much as they possibly can, as much as people are willing to pay for them. And that's the interesting thing about the market and trading. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you'd like more information about that gap class, the last one of 2013, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Beautiful trend here in the market. Thanks everyone. Have a great evening.